My name is Gianna Gorby and you're watching Senators Now. The senior in the spotlight this week is Amelia Graw. Amelia is an outstanding senior at Carson High School. She has taken both honors and AP classes while maintaining a 4.35 weighted GPA. Amelia is working with the Peace Corps at the Greenhouse Project at CHS and has been active in the robotic club. Amelia is currently taking classes at UNR and planning on majoring in mechanical engineering and there is no doubt that she will succeed in achieving her future goals. Congratulations, Amelia. Take a look at my new segment where we get to know Dean of Students, Miss Weaver. Good morning, Senators. My name is Gianna Gorby, and today we are doing something different this week. We are going to be talking to admin and getting to know them, and this week we have Miss Weaver to get to know. So we would like to know what your role is at the school. Um, I am one of the deans of students. Um, what I do is um, patrol the halls. I'm known as the lady, put your nose on your face, <laughs> get your masks up, uh, make sure people are behaving in the hall. Um, I also introduce kids who are new to the school, show them around a little bit, um, uh, try to help guide the students to make better decisions for themselves. and. Um, yes, disciplinarian, <laughs> but that's kind of, I think, is in the low man. If we can get the better choices before the discipline, I'm a happy woman. So, and I love it here. I've been here 21 years, and Carson High is a great place to be. So. I agree. So, how's this year been going for you? Um, it's a little unique. It is very different, <laughs> um, not what I expected. But um, overall, it is progressing. <laughs> okay. And so, are there any 
changes that are going to be happening this semester for students or uh, the whole school I should say no I think we're pretty much set in the schedule that we're having um, we do have a few more students coming back um, so it might feel a little more crowded in the hallways but everybody's welcome back and as as we get closer to next year we hopefully can have everybody back yes. So then, do you have any encouraging words for students and what they are feeling right now? Um, the one thing I think is most important for every student is to be you. Make sure you take care of your business. Make sure you take care of what it is that you need to do. And um, one thing that I have found this year was the biggest struggle was attendance that um, students aren't quite checking in on their virtual attendance days. It's nice and easy when you log on to your Chromebook and there's a yellow banner across the top. It takes a direct link to Infinite Campus for your attendance. If you're still logged in, you can just scroll down on your dashboard and go into Infinite Campus quick. Click on the little blue button that says, yes, I'm here, and then you can move forward with the rest of your school day at home. Um, one thing that students are finding is that DMV requires uh, attendance to be less than 10%, and uh, we are finding that the virtual days are the ones that are costing the kids. So if you can maintain that, one minute of your day will save you so much time later on. And um, it can, those attendance days do count it's not just out there it does count it does count for the state it does count for your attendance so um, make sure you take that one little extra minute for yourself so we don't have to hunt you down later <laughs> um, I would have to tell you take each day as you can find at least one positive in each day as crazy as this all is um, we still can find joy and happy memories that we can take with us because you guys will have experiences that I have never had when I was in high school in my 21 years at Carson High School this has never happened before so take those memories and make the best of what you can and find at least one positive every day and that's what you need to focus on listen up athletes Here's your tryout schedule. Boys and girls soccer, girls golf, volleyball, and both girls and boys tennis are all on February 20th. Check out senatorsnow.org for times and place. There will be a girls golf meeting in room 163 on February 11th for cohort 1 and February 12th for cohort 2 after school at 2.15. Juniors and seniors, the ASVAB is scheduled for Tuesday, March 2nd and Wednesday, March 3rd. It will be after school in the library computer lab. If you're thinking about the military or just interested in seeing where your career skills lie, take the ASVAB. Sign up for your junior and senior Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Roman in the Career Center. That's it for today's announcements. Thanks for watching.